All right, number nine. We'll start with this video from Fidel Salamoni. It's a monkey playing with some dogs. Aww. And does this video prove something that we have been saying for a while now? What? That is. Let's see. That monkeys have a natural instinct to want to ride dogs. Yeah. Oh, yes. that oh. Okay. Have been saying oh, that a while see. now? Yeah, yeah he's trying to get them up. Yeah. I don't like when the monkeys are really big. When they got the chimps playing with the dogs. That's the problem. Yeah, have you seen Chimp Empire on Netflix? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me tell you Look something. Look at Chimp Let me tell you something. You watch one episode of that, you're not leaving your dog with a chimp. Really? You see it? Tell, no, tell her about what the happens? Chimps. What do they do? They're murderers, chimps. They murder? Not dogs, each other. Oh, They're no. terrifying. Chips are terrifying. They just yeah. got a good PR campaign. You yeah. put one of them dressing on a bicycle, everybody right. thinks they're nice. These uh -huh. little ones? These aren't chimps. These are. Chimps these are, are big. Just, chimps are the big ones. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to mess Did you not see Planet of the Apes? I think I saw one of those. Uh, <laughs> weren't there a bunch? <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Who can we start it on? Three too many. Uh, number eight, the current darling of the food scene right now is cabbage. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Look at that. That gorgeous that is. It's a humble veg. And it's having a moment in the spotlight. And if you've been to some high-end restaurants in the last few months, you may have seen a variety of different cabbage dishes selling for about 15 times what they're worth. Uh, here's why. Chefs say that cabbage is hearty, cheap, long-lasting, and plentiful. One restaurant in New Orleans is serving a charred cabbage wedge with turnip sauce yeah. covered with Parmesan. Uh, another high-end dining establishment is offering cabbage with king crab and vanilla. Mm. And here's what some of the <laughs> it chefs are calling cabbage. Classy, luxurious, voluminous. Oh. Well, you're really selling it. Nice read. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of sultry at the it end was. there. It was. It was really, you really mm. sold it. I'm not trying. It just <laughs> yeah. comes out of me. <laughs> And number seven, Honduran white bats. They're kind of cute, kind of creepy, and they like to camp. They live in Central America in dense thickets of the rainforest or abandoned banana fields. These creepy, cute creatures nest in large leaves, which they fold up to make a protective tent. They cling to the tent in small colonies of up to half a dozen bats, consisting of one male and a harem of females. They're tiny, too, only about an inch or two in length. Look at that. Mm. <clears throat> All right, number six, some restaurants are charging big fines for no-shows and cancellations. In some cases, canceling with, uh, with less than 24 hours notice could charge up to $200. Most places are not that extreme, but you could face a bit of a slap on the wrist fee of $10 to $20 for a last-minute cancellation or failing to show up. Point is, businesses lose money when customers book a table and fail to show up. But some customers say there should be understanding when it comes to an emergency or an illness. In Boston last month, a customer canceled his reservation at the famed Table Restaurant in Boston. This story went viral, then used his credit card's travel protection insurance to dispute the pricey cancellation fee. The owner, celebrity chef Jen Royal, called him out publicly on social media uh, to vent and that rant went viral, and then they called mm. her out for publicly shaming someone who yeah. canceled reservation. Great. It was just nuts. I don't know. But did I mean, he, and did his fee get canceled? I, I don't know, but it was more about her like okay. going into the reservation and finding his name and calling him out publicly mm. like this guy canceled his reservation, which is like, doesn't make you want to go to the restaurant. No, you know? not at all. So I don't huh. know. I don't know where it stands now. So. Huh. There we go. All right, number five. Mm. In the 18th century, tea was so valuable that it was kept in a chest just like this one with secure locks. We now call it a tea caddy, but these tea chests often contained two or more compartments for different types of tea in small metal canisters. Some other fun facts about tea. There are 3,000 different kinds, and real tea lovers say you should never use scalding hot boiling water when preparing tea because you end up burning the leaf. The British standard for the perfect cup of tea dictates that it be served between 60 and 85 huh. degrees. Or not at all. Not at all. <laughs> really? Not a fan of the tea. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. No. All right, number four. Uh, with lots of people working at home, this is the desk many might really love. 
It's the alt workstation, and it's the ultimate in ergonomics. <laughs> uh, using buttons on a panel built into the desk, it can change from a standing to a sitting to a reclining position. Finally, you can lie down on the job. There are magnets embedded in the desk oh and God, a specially attached mouse, uh, mouse pad. That way, your mouse and keyboard don't fly off when you go to recline. Uh, this dentist chair turned productivity machine is about nine grand. Uh, we could really use about a dozen of these things for our angry news writers and probably one or two of our editors. And anchors. God, you'd fall asleep, wouldn't you? Well, some of our uh, editors already do, so I, <laughs> <laughs> we, we want them to be comfortable. Yep. Uh, number three, what is the most visited place on Earth? Think about it for a few seconds. The Eiffel Tower, oh. the Grand Canyon. It is this. The Dubai Mall. Wow. Just set another record. Mall operators claim 20 million people have already visited the mall this year alone. Let's be honest, the Dubai Mall is not your average mall. It's not Chicago Ridge or Oak Brook. The Dubai, the Dubai Mall has 1,200 <coughs> stores. It's 12 million square feet. It has an aquarium, an Olympic-sized ice rink, its own Chinatown district, and there's a what? water fountain with a special show set to music taking place every half hour. I thought the malls were dying. I mean, they, well, they, they, they I, I different think, cultures, Robin. Yeah, maybe it's just you have to put some bells and whistles yes. in it. Yeah, the, you know? the orange Julius isn't going to cut it. <laughs> no, you need an ice rink. Though you there need... are 15 of them there. <laughs> yeah, wow, interesting. All right, number two. Coming up, we're going to be talking to the author of a new book about the late Luke Perry. He was the star of Beverly Hills 90210. But did you know that he got his start on a daytime soap? Who's this girl? in my study hall. Great looking. Incredible body. She doesn't talk to anybody though. Blonde. Very cool. Yeah. April Hathaway. How do you know? That's I know him. it has to be. I mean everybody notices April Hathaway. Anyway, right the off. year was 1987. Luke Perry appeared in one episode of the soap opera <clears throat> Loving. He played a character named Ned Bates. Oh, yeah. He also appeared on 10 episodes of Another World between 1988 and 1989. Mm. What a terrific night this is. Hmm. You know what I'm thinking? How when I first came up here from Tennessee, everything was so new and so different. I never thought there'd be anyone like you in my future. Ned, don't. April, you got to know by now. That's such an 80s prom look. <laughs> yeah. Bringing me back. Oh, yeah. Great. To the guy that danced. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, all right, number one. How about we play a voicemail classic? Anna's in this one. Take a look. Uh, during the Iran Town segment, while Anna was uh, trucking around, there was a cut to a hand pushing the release that gives the illusion that Anna is releasing the brakes. Her <laughs> trucking skills are not bad, but girl, work on your hands. All right, here's the video. Your hair brakes. Harry <laughs> 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 Knuckles. She's got big knuckles. <laughs> and nice legs. Legs. Oh, wow. legs. I've been talking with her about this. <laughs> you got to shave those knuckles. Right? <laughs> Give me a break. So I have man hands. But let me tell you, these hands have been very successful. They've taken me through the jungles of Puerto Rico. I can break a lobster with no problem. I don't need a nutcracker. Yeah. My husband likes the caress of these hands. I'm going to get an oil of a lake commercial. But let me tell you, I can bring you the best around. <sighs> Is there a town in there? <laughs> <laughs> I used I to wax, but I want to live like the true me. Yes. Yeah. You know what? I don't want to hear about my feet either. I don't like to shave. Everybody's <laughs> <laughs> oh, pointing yeah. over. Uh, someone's Somebody, gotta, someone's got to make that move. Wait, wait, no. wait, no. Wait. Oh. Reach my feet right now. I need some coffee. That band thespian was fantastic. What? Who was that? I don't know. <laughs> God, there's so many hidden talent in that I think he's not deep in oh. shepherd's pie right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a night at nine. Nine at nine.